Hello everyone, it's February 24th, 2019, and this is going to be a super quick update vlog, partially because I forgot to upload the last one and forgot what I said, and we're also in the middle of a huge windstorm right now, and I'm kind of just waiting for the power to go out at this point. It is quite bad out. Um, yeah, the server rack is off, everything down here is powered off so that I don't risk losing any information or any of my machines. Um, I guess the main takeaway here is that um, those things on the bottom, those are all going away. They, they all have somebody who wants them, I just have to schedule a pickup time. Uh, on this middle shelf, those are all the computers that I'm going to keep, so you can pretty much see everything I've got. Um, just the Soyata desktop, there's an oscilloscope over there, uh, deciding whether or not I want to keep that. The 512K, the iMac, G3, and there's a an old, um, I think it's an Optiplex 240 sitting over there, as well as the laptops. That's all I got. I went from 33 desktops and 38 laptops and a bunch of other equipment down to what you see here. So, mission accomplished. I feel a lot better about the amount of stuff that I have. And uh, up top, of course, are all the parts and my iMac box full of other boxes for things that I currently have. And the last thing Again, trying to make this vlog super quick so that I can get it uploaded before uh, the power most likely goes out is, uh, wow, I literally forgot what I was just going to say, or how I was going to lead into it, but anyway, uh, you're looking at a, uh, an IBM 5160. I probably had said this was a 5150, an IBM XT something like that before, but it is in fact a 5160. It's got the 10 meg hard drive, um, 5 and a quarter floppy, it's got every expansion bay uh, full with a card in it, so it is packed full in there. It's got the Model F keyboard and a little bit newer monitor, it's from 88 or 89, but it's color monitor, so that's cool. I'm just waiting on a new cable to go from the system unit to the uh, monitor because all I had were null modem cables and those will not work. I need a straight through 9 pin cable for that monitor to work properly. So I'm not sure what's going to become of this. I'm considering selling it and I'm going to ask bit for it. Nothing extraordinary. I'm going to ask what it's worth, basically. Um, I'm not going to let it go cheap, because this is one that I'm kind of back and forth on whether or not I want to actually get rid of it, and the thing that'll make me want to get rid of it is money. <laughs> so if I get what I'd like for it, which at the moment I don't have any idea of what I want for it, then I will gladly send it on to someone else. I am extremely worried about shipping it, but we'll get there when we get there. So, yeah, um, I kind of want to play with this thing sometime this week after I get that cable. Maybe I will persuade myself in some way to keep it, but, you know, it's cool to have because, you know, it's an IBM 5160 and it's in almost immaculate condition. In fact, it is in immaculate condition. The only issue it has is that one of the capacitors on the board blew itself up, and um, uh, look, after looking at schematics and forum posts about what that capacitor might be needed for, apparently it's just for this card over here. It's an, uh, the term is case being async, A-S-Y-N-C, asynchronous card maybe, I don't know. Something like that, but as long as you don't have that card in there, people say it works fine. It might work fine with that card in there, I don't know, because I'm not actually using the card, but I'm not willing to risk that just yet. 
and I didn't trust my soldering skills enough to potentially damage uh, a system that is in this good of shape, that is of this age. Anyway, you've looked at this system enough, um, I'll update you on what I decide to do with it, and update you on other things around here. Um, Last thing I want to mention before we go, this iMac, uh, 2011 iMac, that I turned into a monitor, so it is actually just a monitor, <laughs> there's no computer in here anymore, um, monitor, USB hub, I connected the optical drive, etc. I put the VESA mount on it, but <laughs> my monitor arm isn't strong enough, so it just kind of falls back down. It's a little unfortunate, and I'm not proud of what I did, <laughs> not at all, but here's how I got that VESA mount on there. I destroyed this stand and drilled some holes through it and bolted it right to the stand. Because what I didn't know when I purchased a couple of VESA mounts for IMAX is that it only works on the 27 inch and the cinema displays. It does not work on the 21 inch, which is unfortunate. So, if you were to buy a VESA mount for a 2011 uh, 21 inch iMac, you would actually get one that clamps right onto the stand and you still have the stand there. It looks ridiculous. I don't know why they don't just make the stand removable on these, but it isn't unless you take literally the entire computer apart. So, it is what it is. But I thought you might get a kick out of that, my hack job of this. Which, to be fair, the whole thing is kind of a hack job. But, now I have a levitating iMac. Pretty neat. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. I'll try to get this uploaded. Unless the power goes out, then... Well, I'll upload it tomorrow at work, and we'll see you in the next tech vlog.